Understanding Matplotlib, PLT, Figure, Axe R. I'm not really new to Matplotlib and I'm deeply ashamed to admit I have always used it as a tool for getting a solution as quick and easy as possible. So I know how to get basic plots, subplots and stuff and have quite a few code which gets reused from time to time, but I have no deeper knowledge of Matplotlib. Recently I thought I should change this and work myself through some tutorials. However, I am still confused about Matplotlib's PLT, Figure and Axar. What is really the difference? In most cases, for some quick and dirty plotting I see people using just, for plotters PLT, and directly plot with, plt.plot. Since I am having multiple stuff to plot quite often, I frequently use, f, axr equals plt.subplots, but most times you see only code putting data into the axr and ignoring the figure f. So, my question is, what is a clean way to work with matplotlib? When to use PLT only, what is or what should a figure be used for? Should subplots just containing data? Or is it valid and good practice to everything like styling, clearing a plot, inside of subplots? I hope this is not too wide-ranging. Basically I am asking for some advice for the true purposes of PLT less than fig less than axr, and when slash how to use them properly. Tutorials would also be welcome. The matplotlib documentation is rather confusing to me. When one searches something really specific, like rescaling a legend, different plot markers and colors and so on the official documentation is really precise but rather general information is not that good in my opinion. Too much different examples, no real explanations of the purposes, looks more or less like a big listing of all possible API methods and arguments. Pipplot is the scripting level API in Matplotlib, its highest level API to do a lot with Matplotlib. It allows you to use Matplotlib using a procedural interface, in a similar way, as you can do it with Matlab. Pipplot has a notion of current figure, and current axes that all the functions delegate to, at Tuckhaswell Dixit. So, when you use the functions available on the module Pipplot you are plotting to the current figure and current axes. If you want fine grain control of where slash what you are plotting then you should use an object-oriented API using instances of figure and axis. Functions available in pipplot have an equivalent method in the axis. From the repo anatomy of matplotlib. The figure is the top level container in this hierarchy. It is the overall window slash page that everything is drawn on. You can have multiple independent figures and figures can contain multiple axes. But, most plotting occurs on an axis. The axis is effectively the area that we plot data on and any text slash label slash etc associated with it. Usually we'll set up an axis with a call to subplot, which places axes on a regular grid, so in most cases axis and subplot are synonymous. Each axis has an axis and a yaxis. These contain the ticks, tick locations, labels, etc. If you want to know the anatomy of a plot you can visit this link. I think that this tutorial explains well the basic notions of the object hierarchy of matplotlib like figure and axis, as well as the notion of current figure and current axis. If you want a quick answer, there is the figure object which is the container that wraps multiple axes which is different from axis, which also contains smaller objects like legends, line, tick marks, as shown in this image taken from matplotlib documentation. So when we do We have created a figure object and an axis object that is contained in that figure
The plot is MATLAB like API for those who are familiar with MATLAB and want to make quick and dirty plots. Figure is object-oriented API for those who doesn't care about MATLAB style plotting. So you can use either one but perhaps not both together.